You can hear it? You can hear the turbo, yeah. <laughs> See, actually, it looks like a real prestigious car. Bro, like this Alan Alan Gold. Gold. I do think the OLED round screen right here is one of the best features of this car. Welcome back to Bros Talk Supercars. I'm AJ and this is Curse here. And we're at the Cotswolds and we're here with BMW and Mini. As you can see right next to us, we have got the Mini Cooper Countryman John Cooper Works. It's a little bit of a beast. Well, when I say little, it's absolutely huge. As you can see, it's longer and taller. So in fact, it's five inches longer, having 4.4 meters in length, and it's 1.6 meters high. So you wouldn't even be able to see AJ on the other side. In fact, he's stood there right now. AJ? I'm here, Kurt. Anyway, it's all about the alloys. These are John Cooper flag spoke two-tone alloys. These are 20 inch. I do love these. You can get 17 inch alloys all the way up to 21, but these would be the ones I pick. You need a bit of rubber in there. It's quite a solid ride. The John Cooper Works is all about racing, and that's why you can see the flag design through the front grille. We've, it's quite warm, isn't it, Kurz? And, <laughs> it's actually, we've driven and that. hiding all of the cameras and sensors, making it possible to do what it needs to do without any of us working hard. But they've tried to make it a lot more meaner, a lot more aggressive. Think of that M2, the new M2. So do of see look it like that with the straighter design here. Angles, the here, straighter angle. design, and the fatter with the bigger face. You've got the lights, which when they turn on, actually create a beautiful orange aluminum illumination around it but they've tried to make this real more mean so imagine this driving up behind you you would feel like wow what is this car coming up behind me it looks mean it is mean but the only problem is it's still not the size of a Range Rover still not the size of like a Cullinan so really it's a little bit hidden on a bigger car in front of you but if you're in a small car this would look mean coming up behind you I do have to say one thing though Thank God most people are lazy and park their cars facing into a car park space. Why? Because you don't like the look of the front of it. Let's go to the rear. This is by far my favourite angle of the car. Mm. One of my favourites as well, but also the most confused parts of the car is what I'm going to say. Reason okay. being, yep. okay, it looks real mean, it looks hardcore, but it's compressed. So in the middle of the car, we've almost got that new Range Rover look design, the sleekness of it. Range Rover as, Sport, definitely. Yeah. yeah, as well as that Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And I keep saying this because How? you've got that side badge angle here, which almost looks like that black cab vibe. Which I knew you were going to say it. Had to say it. But this fat bottom half, which now brings you into more of like an MX-5, something like this, because that M-Series quad exhaust. Now, these exhausts are actually SV. 20. Range Rover Sport SV. And the SV vibe, I like it, but these are actually That's 20 positive, mil by the way. bigger bigger than the actual original ones that they had on here. So it is a bit of a beast, but it's fat. It's wide, it also looks compressed and dense, so if you're looking at this behind it, you're feeling meanness. More and flags, no. flags everywhere. Also in the direction of the indicators, so pointing out to the left, okay, that's pointing good. out to the right, with the dropped roof as well. I love the red design with the black. And there the is black one improvement windows. that you could have. Imagine yeah, this right back me. end that would make it look even better. If this was hidden up here, and it just popped down from top. You wouldn't have to see this. Imagine how sleek that would look then. That would be very be sleek, good. actually, to be fair. And then they could have actually had a whole light strip going across the back oh. or had the light strip going across the middle without that there, actually. That would have been a very nice design. Well, then you may as well just bought a Range Rover then. Yeah, but this is like, you could buy four of these for a Range Rover. I was going to say five, but then I realized the price of it being 45,700 pounds. <laughs> it's great, though. Love it's mean. It. It's angry. Would love to follow it behind. So obviously having all of the car not turned on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With all the amenities that a Mini should have, you've got the electric boot and you have got so much space in the boot as well. Underneath, even more room. So you really could take that out and you're doubling your space in there. Go on, AJ, get in, crawl in. You can bloody help. So Wait. if you do fancy killing somebody, I, I mean, <laughs> You know, somebody passes out, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, and then you just need to get rid of them. Oh no, it's probably coming down. You can easily do it, loads of space, and then we'll see you later. So, yeah. Over the boot. See you later. No. <laughs> what have you just pulled out? Well, I don't think that's meant to come out there. I just checked how sturdy it was. <laughs> pulled it out the back. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you.
that's that comes out very easily. Okay. Oh, whilst we're in the back, actually, you've got a um, yeah, uh, twelve volt charger. Very nice. Let's close it. Okay, Curtis, we have to talk about the interior. Get them long legs in there. Go, 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 Let's go, go. Let's try it. Let's try headroom, legroom, and everything room. Straight away initial, no trouble with the headroom. I feel so spacious with the panoramic roof. It's perfect. Leg room, I've been sat in the chair in front of me. So that chair is in a position that a tall person would be sat in. I've got loads of room and I've got room for the underneath of my foot so I can actually stretch my legs slightly wider, which is nice. Talking about technology in the back. There isn't a lot bar the harmony carbon sound system which is obviously amazing now we're following that front trim through into the back we've got the lovely gold i'm going to call them gold handles which follow through from the front nice sturdy side and in the side part you've got your drinks your compartment in the and middle you do, you do have the armrest as well which is quite nice in the middle i feel like they've been lost these days we do two drinks holders as well two air cons here which you can't really move around so there's not much stability there and just your usbs and um, usb c's a little bit of space in the compartment in the front here as well a little bit of space underneath and by the looks of it which i didn't realize these chairs move forward and backwards well, that's that's pretty nifty for a family that is very good so if you want to get extra room in the back you can do obviously now i'm absolutely cramped but they move back, I'm going to say a good six to eight inches there. That's actually really good. That shocked me. All your baby seats around here. Love the chairs, AJ. Zoom in on them. Got this lovely aired pattern with the red stitching that you get with the John Cooper Works. So it follows it through with the racing flag design again here. Following it through that you get on your keys One thing here I do well. not like is I do not like the shape of that. I don't mind it, AJ. That's just a personal does... preference. I get it's like racing flag, flag, etc. Well, et well but... no, I was actually going to say it's nice for a bit of storage. You can actually just put something on there and it holds it easily. Well, I'm definitely not doing that say. when I'm braking. Up here, if you want to see, you've got your clips, car clips, and your touch-sensitive lights when the car is turned on. I think. <laughs> <laughs> this has a level three package, so obviously wireless charger there. Car's not on, but... We can turn it on in a second. The trim is very, very nice. There's lots of, obviously, fun little things. It's a mini at the end of the day. It matches. Just things that are like talking points. You know you've got your toggle here. When it comes down to actual space, you've got your two cup holders here to hand, which is really easy. One thing that this is brilliant, it slides all the way forward. So even if you are like got tiny, so the armrest, this is comfy. A little bit annoying. Can't really get into anywhere. You kind of presume there's space there there isn't steering wheel arguably i think we had this conversation before Kurt, didn't we it's a little thick it's a little fat but it is pleasant to be around a little transformers 2002 in the aspect of the way that it is it's very fat let's be honest with that yeah let's be honest and the other thing that is great that when you think about it, it's great oh this is so great this is so great it looks look at this this is so great imagine if you've got kids and family and they go and get food or chocolate onto this how how do you clean that that's a nightmare, because I'm a bit OCD like that. The seats, comfy, as Kurt said, very nice. And one thing that I did kind of think in the beginning that I wouldn't like is definitely the headrests here. So Kurt, if you look at these headrests, you can usually, obviously, you move them up, down, left, right. But actually, it does always fit in the correct position. Wherever you are moving, it's always there. Head up display on all of them. I personally, prefer it to be up here but it works perfect it does exactly what it says on the tin and then you do have to talk about the actual dig digital display the circle the first round oled screen in a vehicle itself so they're proud of that they're going to push that i would if i was them and let's be honest it's fantastic let's just click a couple of feet it, it's, here. one thing that's fantastic is is the actual look look how responsive that is even to the point of like oh ooh, ooh, like that's very good. Cool. So you've got the experience button here that you just press, boom. It's awesome to be fair. There's so many different modes. So this is timeless, this one. So it really looks like that old fashioned steering wheel style. And then you can just scroll through all of your different settings on here. I just want to show you, you've got actually seat comfort, you've got Wi-Fi here. It can tell you the weather, video. So if I quickly click on here, have a look at this. It can take you straight to live TV. So this is their version of the live TV. You create a quick account on there, which I did earlier on, and you've got all of these. These are all films. All films that you can just watch. Awesome, let's just press one. Comes on, play now, 
And then how awesome's that? <laughs> I know it's a complete gimmick. It's a complete, you can't watch it whilst driving. It turns off when driving, but if you sat down, it's awesome. Changing to the next feature. So let's take it to trail. I love this mode as well. Ooh, hear that. We're going to get rid of the TV because we don't want that Do you not anymore. think that would be a bit annoying, them silly noises? Give me another one quick. Go. We're going to go to my favourite one, AJ. Go-kart. Which is the real, oh, woohoo! Yeah, you would. It sounds really fun at the time. Best one. So you've got your revs here on the, on the left. You've got your actual speedo in the middle. You've got your fuel here, RPM. You've got it all. Everything you want to see for the racing is on this set. So when we set off now, that's what we're going to go with first. It is. So let me turn the engine on and let's have a little see. See it all light up, everything on. Look at that, mean, and off we go. And it lights up. Boom. <laughs> so that's awesome. I know it's a little bit too much, and I know it's like it's a gimmick and it's complete over the top. But, but it's I something like the whole fun. family would use. The kids would use it. Yeah. And that's what a Mini is. It's a family car. You're meant to have your kids in there, and you're meant to be able to have fun on this. You can play games on it. There's a whole, whole bunch of features on there which normal cars just don't have on it. So Mini. You've nailed it with that one, really. I do. I like that, and it's great for the family. And we do have to talk about how universally good this reversing camera is. Kurt, angle the steering wheel. Don't move it. Just angle the steering wheel. The fact that it Look, turns the with... the camera turns with it. That's new. I haven't seen that one done before. Very nice. And then you've got literally everything from the 3D. So this, we can actually change the car. We can see what's around our car. It's a great version panorama so that is just the rear if you want to see what's going on around distance parking as well so this is if i want to choose a space it can direct me into it or drive it itself it, it, it's really got everything but there was a cool feature which i noticed before i'm going to try and do this now when you walked behind the car it put your, put your hand down i can't see anything. it automatically went very close now i thought we'd hit something but is that you tapping I so there's the car if I go a bit closer. Let's not try hit something. Let's not physically try and do and it. And then it obviously tells you how close you are in that manner like this. Very cool. Don't want to get any closer. I'm starting to panic. <laughs> but what does happen if someone walks behind, it shows you where their feet are walking and where their arms are. So if they actually touch the car or not. And you can actually, another cool feature, AJ, there's a camera up here which hasn't been taken off yet. Should we take it off on camera right now? Should we, take, should we pull it? Oh, you mean the... Should we get it? Can you get that? Now we're ready to drive. Oh, one sec. We haven't mentioned these. Love them. I think they're really cool features, like a twisty little um, nipple that you can just uh, twist on or twist off, depending on how you're feeling. If you're getting a bit hot, you just turn it on. If you're getting a bit cool, you just turn it off. Slide up and down. I like it. We've got the John Cooper Works Countryman here. It's an absolute... Ah, you know what, AJ? It's really nice to drive. It's a little bit light under the steering when you're putting your foot down with the power. But let's talk about what the powertrain is on this. So it's a two-litre engine pushing out 296 brake horsepower, 400 newton metres of torque. You do and feel that. New yeah. Torque. You do feel that power. It pulls straight off the initial line. It's faster. Zero to 60 is 5.4 seconds. Top speed, 155 mile an hour limited, which we haven't had that speed out of it just yet. Um, but the handle in it, it, it feels nice. It's nice around the corners, except for you can feel that newton meter torque, AJ. You can feel that horsepower. When you drop them gears down, we're about to hit the national right. speed limit coming up now. Sport now, just clicked Sport, it. Sport, dropped it down. It pulls, but there's a little bit of lightness under that wheel when you're wanting to go. And it just keeps pulling. <laughs> it's a nice drive, actually, to be fair, AJ. And I feel like you should also mention, we never mention it, but fuel economy, it is supposedly about 35 miles per gallon. Um, 35.4 miles to the gallon. Not if you're driving like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. take it out of sport. <laughs> manage that acceleration and have more of that rolling around the corner it holds fine to the ground but as soon as you do put your foot down with the four-wheel drive system 
It's a bigger car. It's a heavier car. The weight's dropping backwards. You can feel the front slightly lifting up and it just has that lightness under the steering wheel. That's the only slight negative, but it's basically a 300 horsepower car. It's fast. So in a real world scenario, we've just gone from 40 to 60 straight past. No worries, easy. Anything you need this to do, it'll go and do it real easily. <laughs> it's cool. You know what's so special about this for me, AJ? John Cooper Works, ever since a kid, it's been a childhood dream to drive a John Cooper Works and I've never had a chance to do it. So this is the first time behind Take the wheel. Take your bucket list. Yeah, bearing in mind this is a mini blimmin' Land Rover, or a mini Range Rover, a mini Rolls Royce called it in size. They've made it massive, it's not a mini anymore, but it's great fun, I think. <laughs> Thanks for driving us down some random ass road. Well, I thought we were going to get a good film in position, but I turned out it just drove us into a village. Okay. <laughs> so we've swapped. We have to talk about price with this car because it's a Mini. We all think BMW, we can think I just Mini. Say, AJ? Yes. You, you know can. what? This car is perfect for driving where we are in the Cotswolds. This is great for it. I would have this car for driving around here. I feel like it fits it perfectly. And with the pricing. Yeah, so this car, the Countryman C, starts at, realistically, was it 28,000? Yeah, 29,000. 29,000, I was trying to be polite, you know yeah, what I mean? 29,000. <laughs> um, this car, the um, John Cooper Works, badges are everywhere. This car is 40,000, well, 40,000 pounds. Starting. Starting. Yeah. This is 45,000 pounds because we've got some Opsignor. Op op optional extras in there. Um, you've got three packages, so um, once you do add on absolutely everything, you are 45,000. Yeah, package one, package two, and package three. <laughs> that, and the thing is, when you... That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. When you do go for them optional packages, I feel like you have to go for all of them because it does make it so much easier. Like, look at this panoramic roof. I know, this is one of the biggest panoramic roofs I've actually seen in, in a Mini. In a supposedly small car. Well, this isn't really a Mini anymore, is it? Let's be honest, this is a Mini SUV. It's a massive thing. Um, but the space inside is unbelievable. It's genuinely, I feel like I have as much space in a Range Rover, like with my head height, the positioning of everything. Okay, you can't say that. Forward. No, I would you really... Can't. We spoke to the guys this morning and they fundamentally said to us, this is obviously the Mini Countryman. We know and love it for that. This is completely remodeled, but this is going to sit as a new segment within their range. Like the previous Countryman would be, is going to be a new model that comes out when yeah. it comes out, maybe yeah. in the future. And this, this Countryman is going to sit above that as well, the larger 4x4. It's massive. There is so it much is space sat in here. It's, 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 it's like a TARDIS, guys. I'm not even joking. When you actually sit in here, it's huge. They've managed to squish it. It's everything. not a TARDIS because it looks big on the outside as well. Kurt. It's massive. This car is longer and a it is A TARDIS looks small and then it's expansive. Oh, nice um, Ferrari 296 GTB, personal plate. That's it. Yeah. That's one of my favorite Ferraris. People say it's ugly. I also agree. I don't think it's the best looking Ferrari driving ability. Anyway, no yeah. Ferrari talk. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the driving experience, we may be going quite smooth and sailing now as normal in drive, not in sport, but when you are in sport and you do put pedal, pedal to the metal, like you do have that lift. It feels like, the one thing, I don't know if you feel this, but you don't have a front wheel drive car, it feels like it's pulling. A rear wheel drive car feels like it's pushing. Like it's very clear to identify that. A four wheel drive car usually feels quite, quite flat and planted and forward. It feels, like it's more four-wheel drive, as in the way the nose lifts, and then that gives that unevening in the steering wheel and that wobble. And even like now, if we hit a pothole, there's a lot of like movement within the steering wheel when you hit that pothole, and that's not the nicest feeling when you're going a little bit quicker. No, people may say, oh yeah, you want to be able to feel the road and this and that, but it isn't. I want, I want to like feel a... the information I want to feel back from the road. I don't want the wheel to just go boop. Yeah, I, do, I understand. And especially, what you're you said, in the Cotswolds here, there are some potholes, they're a bit larger, and even to us, the big white lines. Like, you kind of, if I'm riding on the white lines now, it kind of, it does bounce around quite a bit. It is, a, it's, yeah. It's I, slightly, I, agree, I know I'll agree I'm not gonna, that. I don't wanna use this word, but on, if you were gunning it, it's slightly unnerving. <laughs> it is, but it's fun. 
But it is fun. It's fun. You'll be coming out with sweaty hands and I had a blimmin' good time. That's what I'll say. It's scary in some manners, but I think it's, it's four-wheel drive, but biased to the front-wheel drive, which is the reason why it's given this feel of lightness in the steering mm. wheel. But also, it's taller than they've ever had for a Mini. It's bigger than they've ever had for a Mini, and there's more weight than they've ever had for a Mini. And with the John Cooper Works, I think it's just having to ooh, throw ooh. that weight back more. The suspension's not used to it, and therefore that's why we're getting the lightness in One the One thing we can't really try right now is, but I would really like to know is, let's say you've got five people in the car, does yeah. that even make it more planted better, or does that emphasize the, I don't want to say the roll, but the, the movement of the car? I would like to say it makes it more grounded, but I have a feeling it may emphasize it slightly more, <laughs> in my opinion. Great brakes, though. Yeah, brakes are very good. And very good on a low level, like maybe a bit too bitey a bit too on instant. the kind of 20 mile an hour zones around here. But like, let's hit it. That wobble then that yeah. was not me that was the car and driving itself yeah it's that did not feel good right it is i a, should have backed off a bit sooner it's but it's a small suv so it is not built for that drag racing and crazy speed around that's the not drag style. racing that's but 20 to john, 60. it's the john cooper works it should be for that that's what i'm trying to say i understand the countryman c but this is the john cooper works should be capable to do that because that's what it's for Okay. Racing. The next level is the GP, but then you have no back seats in the roll cage, and I don't think they do it in this version, but still. Uh, Christ, I want... I'm going <laughs> to pop into the shops with my kids. That's what. I, that's who I am. Yeah, but there's more space if you uh, need to pop to the shops with the, with the GP, because you've got no back seats. <laughs> you just hang your, wash, hang your washing, hang your laundry, hang your laundry. <laughs> what am I saying? Hang your own blimmin' shopping onto the roll cage. Okay, the John... On that note, extra light. <laughs> no, I didn't realise that open fully then. I've only the John Cooper that. Works Mini Countryman is a success. It feels sturdy, it feels premium, it feels strong. Yes, there's some things I'd like to change. I do enjoy you get out, Curtis, the seat comes back, it comes back to you when you get in. Um, there's some of these little things that I always think about sometimes these brands forget. As you said, everything just feels good. And we haven't spoken about it, but the, the, the actual buttons to turn it on, twist it, engine comes on, up, down, like it's mini and they it's, hold on to it, the little things. It's a keyless start, but it has like a fake engine twist, <laughs> which is very, very cool. The key could be a little bit small though. It's, it's, um, but it's flat, so at least it'll fit in your pocket and slip in there nice and easy and it isn't bulky, but it's just... It's in bulky. I know, yeah, the end part is ridiculous, but <laughs> that's just because they have the John Keeper Works pattern and badge on it, but yeah. <laughs> okay. But overall, I would say as well, I agree with you, AJ, great build of a car, really nice to drive, little bit light under the steer when you accelerate fast, but so much space for a family car and for a Mini. £45,000 though, so there's a lot of decisions in that era of kind of being like, okay, second hand something else, okay, um, that's a lot of thought process. It is, to be fair, but oh, there's one thing that I'd love to check, AJ. Yes. The engine. Oh, okay, okay, let's think about the J Cooper Works is the engine. Because they always make it slightly special, they boost it up. I know you know exactly where every single bonnet hatches on every single car. You've pre done this, haven't you? Even, even though he's pre done it, I he's still lost it. I actually pre done it because when I was pre doing it, I still couldn't find it. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is going to be sped up. I don't get it. I can see it. I can see yours. You didn't do a double, did you? It's got here. It's got a times two. Boom, boom. That's your fault. That's why. Oh, that strut's quite good. I can't like edit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dumb one, dumb, dumb. But, so that. what you see on this is what they've added onto the John Cooper Works is normally they always add a strut, which is all they've added on this. <laughs> so there's the engine. <laughs> That's all I've got for you. Okay, back to the video. Um, oh yes, um, guys, can you guess what the colour of this car is? I'm going to give you five seconds. Four, three, grey, two, one. Dark grey, graphite yes, grey. but no, legend grey. Did you get it? 
Write in the comments if you got it, guys. Oh, I didn't. I actually would never have guessed that either, to be fair. The whole time we had it, I was wondering what grey is it, but legend is the colour. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We love the car overall. It's an awesome car to drive, sturdy, stable. And thank you and very much, BMW and Mini, for letting us come yeah. to Cotswolds and have fun and wine and dine us because we're about to get wined and dined. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank and you. Thanks for making my dream come true to actually drive a John Cooper Works, guys. So, you legends. That, that would be me emailing. Well, I, I think it's them emailing, emailing us, but yeah. yeah. Yes. Is it really? I think they did, yeah. This video is powered by Food Heaven. It's all plant based foods. Go try it out.